Good morning. It is October 24th, Monday morning, and I had a fabulous, a wonderful, a great weekend of sales. So happy this morning. I had 28 sales on eBay, seven on Poshmark, and two on Macari, and every single site had great sales. Even Macari, which is two, were great sales. All right. I'm going to need a lot of coffee this morning. It is Monday. I still have my punk nail polish on. I still have my purple hair from this weekend. I dress up as a 80s punk Saturday for an 80s party. So looking a little crazy today. Let's do this. Fit flops. Got these at the bins a couple weeks ago. They were in a um, haul. They're not even in that great condition. They have lots of wear on them. They still sold for $16 in 18 days. That's why I picked them up because I know fit flops do pretty well. There's some leggings. That's what it says. I don't see them. I don't know. Some leggings. Y'all are used to seeing leggings. <laughs> they are palette liquidation. Where are the leggings? They were $8. Some of them are for $8. I have to find those. Um, Christmas suit. I have sold this before. It came back as a return. I'll open it up. I love picking these up. They make me happy for obvious reasons. They make me smile. Someone bought it and it came back for fit and returned it. And now it is sold again 20 days later after getting it and relisting it. Comes with pants and a tie too. It's a full suit. Someone bought it for $35 and it sold in 20 days after being relisted and returned. Coldwater Creek Blazer. This is really pretty. I don't normally pick up Coldwater Creek at all, um, but when it's something like this, it's got these great fall colors. Someone's probably going to wear this to Thanksgiving or whatever. And it's like the tapestry. It's really pretty. What size is this? It's a size 10. It's a great size. Anyway, it sold for $46.08. I am so happy with that sale. I can't believe I priced it up that much, but the comps must have said that's what I should price it at. I am shocked at that sale. $46.08, and it sold in two months. Not a relist. It really did sell in two months. That's a really good one. Um, little swimsuit bottom. I get these from Liquidation Center for $0.99. Cents. Sold for $12.24 in three months. This is a bundle sale. Somebody bought four items. She paid $32 for these pants, and then she paid $68 for the other three. So, I'll show you the pants first. These are John Mark. I sold two John Mark over the weekend, which is kind of crazy because I don't find that John Mark sells all that great. Size large. I mean, these pants are like super comfy. I thought about keeping them. They're like the wide leg and they're the like slinky material. These are nice pants and I paid 99 cents for them. So, even better. She paid $32 for these. I had relisted them. They sold in two weeks. I've had these for at least a year. I find with John Mark, I really have to relist it a good bit to get it to sell because it's it's not a popular enough brand. It's a nice brand that people want, but it's not something that people are just out there looking for all the time. So it's it's definitely one you have to relist a lot. Anyway, and then she bought these shoes. So those sold for $32.40. And then these three, she's, she bought for 68. This is a pair of Donald J. Pliner, Planner. Is it Pliner or Pliner? I have no idea. There it is. There's the name. Still has the price on them. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't take prices off. Sometimes I'll scratch through them, but I'm not going to sit and scrub a pair of shoes. But these look basically brand new. Pretty much brand new. And you will find when I talk about shoes, they usually look almost brand new because I don't bother with used shoes very much. Anyway, those shoes, those pants. And then I finally listed my shapewear. I bought this like a month ago and I said shapewear sells really well. So I finally listed my shapewear. I don't even know how many pieces I have, but it's less than 20. Finally listed it Friday and four of them sold over the weekend. So that gives you an idea how fast shapewear sells. 
So, oh, these were listed for two months and two weeks. Sorry about that. And then these, I just have two days on. I don't really know if it was two days or one day or whatever. All right. Burbet jeans. I got these at the bins. So, what a $20 offer. No, I didn't. I got these at a regular Goodwill. But that's okay. So, I probably did pay, you know, a little bit for them. But I got a $20 offer on them. <clears throat> They've been listed for 20 days. I was fine with that. They are a raw edge. They are new tags. Blah, blah, blah. Not bad. I will take $20 in 20 days every time. Carl Lagerfeld. Another brand I do not suggest picking up. I actually saw some of these, this brand used. This is new attacks. Um, even with new attacks, it does not sell well. And it takes forever to sell. I've had this for more than a year. I relisted it and it sold in a month after being relisted for $21.29. Yes, he is an 80s designer. No, he does not sell well. Maybe if you find his 80s stuff. But this tag is the new tag. And I would say no. It does not sell well at all. I think he like sold out to another company or something. I don't remember, honestly. Fly London Boots. I've had these since the spring. And then someone offered me... This is a great brand, by the way. And that's how you know what they are. And it sells really well. Someone offered me... I don't know how much this week. Um, Friday. And I accepted the offer. And then they asked to cancel. They, you know bought an error or whatever. I don't care. So yes, I canceled it. So then it was, they were relisted and I think they offered me 30 and I've had them since the spring. So I was like, yeah, I'll take 30. And then I relisted it and somebody offered me 55. So they sold technically a one day because they got relisted, but I've had them since the spring, which makes sense that they would start selling now. Great little boots though. And they're not in great, the best condition, but that's how popular and it's in the listing. The issues with them. That's how popular these are. You see? They actually have cracks in the soles. I hope that person saw that. But $55 in one day is fabulous. Another great sale. Another great sale. This one surprised me. Didn't even remember I had this. <laughs> this is a J. Crew sweater. I think it's lamb's wool. Sure is itchy. It's very, very itchy. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a very scratchy throat this morning. That's why I was drinking my coffee. It is 49% merino wool and 18% lamb's wool. And it's got like the fair isle thing going on. So you have lots of great keywords on there. And it was a great size. It's a men's, it's a medium. It's not, actually not a great size. It looks big. I thought it was bigger. Um, J. Crew sweater sold for $44 in two months. That's a good one. Right here, we got $99 in sales. Love that. Love it. Please don't fall. My board's trying to fall on me. It just disappeared on y'all there. I'm gonna drink my coffee too. My throat is so scratchy this morning. It's about to drive me crazy. Okay, a scarf. That's the wrong scarf. This is a scarf. <laughs> it's a Sejan like blanket scarf. Well, I'm not gonna undo it. It's liquidation palette stuff. Sold for $11.52 in one month because it was relisted. I've had it for more than a year and a half. Some Talbot's Rayan. Like little, what did we used to call these? They're called Keeper Loafers by Talbot's. Oh, we called them um, Penny Loafers. They used to have the little thing right here. These don't have it. Anyway, it's a loafer. I don't know why I talk about that one kind of crap. Seven and a half. These were basically new when I picked them up. They were $3. Got them from the local liquidation store. So for $25 in three months. I have been really, really impressed with the performance of Talbot shoes. So I will keep picking them up when they're a great price. This was a surprising one. I don't even remember having these pair of pants priced up so high. They're Wild Fox. They are new with tags. They are cute. I mean, they, they're very cute, but I cannot believe they're size large. So they're also a great size. What's the original price of these? $118 is the original price. Um, I can't believe these sold for so much. $54 and 48 cents is what these pants sold for in one week, which means it was a relist. 
I don't know how long I've had these sitting. They were probably sitting forever because I had them so highly priced. I can't believe I priced them for that much. What is wrong with me? And I'm pretty sure I almost kept these and decided not to. But so y'all, pick up the Wild Fox um, tie-dye pants. I would say pick those up whether or not they're new with tags. I would definitely pick them up. I always pick up Wild Fox, even if it doesn't sell for a lot. I do find that Wild Fox sells very quickly. So, except for that pair, because I had them overpriced, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Who knows? Maybe I looked at the comps and that was right there. I don't know. Carhartt Oakman. I sold one of these on Friday's video also. Same price, $17. And I talked about the fact that, you know, people get excited about Carhartt. But if you look at the average Carhartt sales price, $17 was right on par for what these sell for. And you see how quick I sold them. So yeah, I probably could have got $25, $30 for them, but I'd rather sell them fast and get them out of here and sell them for what the, the norm price is. They are extra large tall. I got two of them at the bins. Uh, I had a brown one and this one. Brown one sold in one the same day, I think. And this one's on four days. So I love that fast turnover like that. That is great. I always pick up Carhartt because of the fast turnover, not because I'm making a ton of money on it. Next is, whew, we're halfway through. It's wearing me out. We'll call Carrie Brawl. Of course, I sold some brawls this weekend because that's what I do. Sports brawls do great. They go for great prices. They sell fast. Where was that at? We'll call carry $28.50 and in one month. Excellent one. And then another brawl. Not a brother brawl. That is not a brawl. That is a Spikes. That's another one of the shapewares that I listed on Friday. And it sold for $16.80 in three days. They paid for that one this morning. That's why it's three days. Alfani shoes. Ugh liquidation who cares i'll find these shoes seven dollars and 28 cent 29 cents in six months it's actually more than a year and a half i promise you okay leggings for eleven dollars and 20 cents y'all also don't care about that i don't even know why i picked those things out and then the tori yogi another sports bra sold in one month and two weeks for 35 dollars and 20 cents you see the notori attack notori 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 is great do it that way I've said this before, just don't do it one more time. Just, you know, throw it out there for the new people. If you look on brawls, if you're at the bins and they're not new at tags, you can usually look on brawls and a lot of times these numbers will be on there. I know for Wakal and Chattel and Notori, they have those numbers. And then you can just Google Notori and that number if you want to look up if the bra sells well or if it sells for a good price or something like that. I t if I'm at the bins, I tend to pick them up no matter what. So, all right. I keep losing my place. There's too many things listed. Nine West that hat. <laughs> this is palette stuff. These actually do really well. Now, this one took a long time to sell, um, but I had a lot of hats at that time and then a lot of red ones and brown and black and whatever. But that palette had a lot of hats and they sell very, very fast. I hate packing them up, but they do sell really fast. I relisted this and it sold in one month for $16.64, but they were selling for a lot more. So I always pick up hats. I actually have two hats sitting over there that I haven't listed yet. I love selling hats because they, they tend to sell pretty quick. I don't find a lot of them in a great um, condition, but when I do find them in great condition, I pick them up. I try to find ones that don't look like they've really been you know, worn for too long. Of course I look them up, but they're so lightweight and they're so easy to keep. I don't know. I really like to sell hats for some reason. Okay. Where are we at? I keep losing my spot. <laughs> my list is really long. Let me show y'all. I keep losing where I'm at. It's, it's a long list. <clears throat> I'm not used to this. Okay. We were on Nine West. Chantel Sport. Another sports bra. I saw, I sold a sports bra at every um, brand this weekend, evidently. This one is Chantel. And let's see. Does it have a number? It does have a number. Chantel, and there's a number. So if you were at the bins, you could look it up and make sure it was a good one. 
And it is. It sold for $29 in one month. I feel like if these were in great condition, you could probably sell them for close to that anyway. I just sold two Soma bras last week. And they sold, like, in days, I think. If you watch my videos, you know that already. For, like, 20 bucks a piece that I got at the bins. So, you can pick up great brands at the, at the bins. Bras, too. What is this? Another John Mark, which is weird. I mean, I always say I don't suggest this brand, but here we are with two John Mark sales today. I don't know. I got it sold John Mark recently. Maybe John Mark is finally people are starting to know the brand or something. I have no idea. We'll keep picking it up just in case. Here and there. You can, you can experiment. If it's a good price, this one's really cute. I'm trying to show you all the embroidery as I talk and not tell you what I'm doing. But this one is so cute and I cannot believe it did not sell faster because I thought it was adorable. Alright, what do I know? All right? Oh, it's a size small. Maybe that's why. And it's new with tags. And I've only paid 99 cents for it, so not bad. 25 bucks and I have five months on here. I had it longer than that, but maybe maybe it's five months. I might have got that at the spring, um the spring liquidation sale. I don't know. My cloth, cute little sweater dress that I've had for a year, very Christmassy. Um, nothing special. This is not one of the more popular ones. I think it's extra small too. No, it's a large. I'm way off on the sizes today, y'all. Usually I'm like, oh, this is a voila. No, I'm just off, just totally off. Anyway, this is not the more popular print. Um, if you find the dinosaur one, my cloth dinosaur print, that would usually it can go for like $45, $50. So if you find dinosaur print um, sweater dresses, grab them up fast. I would say probably anything dinosaur print probably goes really well if I had to guess. But especially my cloth dinosaur print uh, dresses. $15 and it sold in one month because it was a realist. I've had these for more than a year. I made my money a long time ago on all that Christmas stuff. So whatever. Ink leggings, nine dollars. Nobody cares. Brighton, Brighton, really? Brighton? You picking up Brighton? No. These are from like three years ago, whenever I first started. And honestly, Brighton was on its way out back then, and it's even more on its way out now. But they still sold for twelve dollars and fifty-five cents. And four months is what I have. That's not a realist. That's what I have over there because these sat in my inventory for two and a half years unlisted. Did inventory and said, what is this? <laughs> so I listed them, finally. <laughs> a little late on the party on that one. Another pair of leggings, $5.99. Here's a weird one. Okay, so last week I sold a dress of this brand for $25 that was new with tags that I've had for a year. Um, it's Belle Bagley Mishka, and I told y'all it's not a great brand, but it does sell. So this dress I got at the bins. The other dress was new with tags. Took a year to sell for $25. This one I got at the bins, size 14, which is a girl's 14, not an adult 14. This one sold in eight days for $28.80. Who knows? It's very Christmassy though. That's kind of why I picked it up. Because it's a cute little, the print is very Christmassy. I can see a girl wearing this for, you know, Christmas party or something. Very cute. All right, that's it for eBay. Now we're on the Poshmark. Seven sales. They were pretty good sales too. Oh, it's fuzzies in my mouth. I got fuzzies everywhere. Ugh. Tommy Hilfiger dress. More than a year again. Um, no, I got this in the spring. It was 99 cents. It's going to be new with tags. It's from the Dillard's Clearance Center. There's the tags. Um, I sold quite a few of this same print, same dress and everything. Tommy Hilfiger's is not a brand that I would pick up very often, but when it's 99 cents and it with tags, why not? $32. I don't have a date on this one, but I listed this in the spring. Another Spanx. <laughs> Number four. They sold so fast, three days. For 22 bucks. Love, love, love the turnover on shapewear. So good. Um, another 99 cent item that is new with tags. It's Calvin Klein pants. 
not a brand I pick up very often. I do know that like Calvin Klein um, coats and jackets can do okay if you have the right. I've, I've sold some Calvin Klein stuff. It's really, really pretty. I mean, these are 99 cents, I don't care. But I've sold some stuff that I paid a little more for that was Calvin Klein here and there. If it's like something like really substantial and like I had a, a, a little evening dress that was had like the the feather boa thing going on right here and it was a slinky dress that thing sold so fast stuff's dropping sorry that thing flew when I bought it I paid like five bucks for it and sold it for like 80 something dollars so there are Calvin Klein things that will sell really well but in general Calvin Klein's not impressive Did I tell y'all how much that sold for sold for $35, not bad. $35 in seven months. Um, these are some 511 EMS pants for women. They are new with tags. Did I get these at the bins? I don't remember. I don't remember if I got these at the bins or if I got these at a regular Goodwill. I have no idea. Sold in 19 days for $35. Excellent one. I told y'all, these are great sales. Uh, except for this one. It's a scarf. <laughs> it is palette stuff and it's all for 10. All right, and an Athleta jacket. It's a cute jacket. I love this jacket. Sold for $25, but it took 10 months, which is kind of crazy. It's one of those ones that just dropped off the radar. And all of a sudden, when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, didn't even know I had it. It's that small. I think it's really cute. It's very Adidas like. So maybe it's just not that much in style. Who knows why these things happen? Aloe sports bra, $22 in four months. And then the last two sales, my favorite sale, Macari. My favorite sale of the weekend was from Macari, go figure. Great sale. It's not this one though. This is some Harley Davidson leggings. These sold same day I listed, so that was great. Love that. These came from, um, my local Goodwill, and they sold in zero day, same day, a couple of hours later they sold, and sold for $27. That's really great. I always pick up Harley Davidson, and it always sells well. And it might be because I pick up the right kind. I don't really know. Sale of the freaking weekend. This might be the sale of the week. This is so great. I got this t-shirt at the bins. It's Mickey Mouse. And it is single stitch, in case y'all don't know, that is single stitch. And then down here is also single stitch. So this is single stitch. It's literally one stitch. A regular t-shirt has two rows of stitching right there. And then a regular t-shirt, I'm trying to see if I have a regular t-shirt around here so I can show y'all. Here we go. I have an Animaniacs t-shirt right here. So. Here's the difference. This is single stitch. It's important to see on there. This is single stitch right here. This is double stitched. So this is a newer shirt. This is, see, that's double stitched. And then when you look at the shoulder, I always look at the shoulder first. Although there are stuff that, there's vintage stuff that the shoulder can look like this. That's newer. That's older. Single. Okay. This does not have a size, it does not have tags, but it is Mickey Mouse. It has some very, very faint marks on it, little age stains and stuff that were noted. Um, I priced this high, I priced it at 130 because I didn't know, <laughs> basically. Sold in 12 days for 60 bucks and I got this at the bins. Definitely the sale of the week. So, so happy about that. I love when I pick up something and I'm like, Will that make money? Will it not? Do y'all want to see the print on that again? I feel like that's important. There, I had only found one other one that had sold um, on Grailed. Yeah. One sold just like this on Grailed for $40. That's why I went high with it. Because that could just be a fluke. If there was like three or four sales for that price, sure. I would have went uh, lower. But anyway. $60 came in. I was like, yes, please. Let's do this. That's it, y'all. That is all my sales. 
I'm gonna get off of here. We're at 25 minutes. I'm probably wearing y'all out. I'm worn out. I need to drink more coffee. It is early on Monday and I gotta get my stuff packed up and get out of here. I hope y'all have a great week and great sales. Please come back tomorrow. I will have another video tomorrow. I make a what soul video every weekday, Monday through Friday and let post it at noon. Please give me a like and a subscribe and the notification. I don't know what all that stuff is. All that stuff that YouTube loves. Y'all do all those things. Y'all have a great day.